This segment is being sponsored by Capital Sportsman. All right, this week's picture of the week is being brought to you by Flowers Garden Center. Yeah, if you're going to go take a deer over there, you might be in trouble. <laughs> so, it better be a road kill. You better be a road kill. <laughs> there better be some tread marks on it, I'm telling you. Hey, right, go by there, Flowers Garden Center, 4550 Eaton's Creek Road. Let me tell you something. Uh, also, I want to tell you, Miss Anna Flowers is trying to gear up to have another flower class, and that's for how you can go home and set up your flower arrangements. And yes, guys, I'm talking to you too. <laughs> and make mama proud. <laughs> so she'll let you go fishing, okay? So check them out, 4550 Eaton's Creek Road. Our first picture here, let me see. Oh yeah, this is Miss Jamie Linder. And Miss Jamie is an awesome photographer. And uh, this is the one she took opening day of the Arkansas season, which was not too long ago. And she sent us this picture. And what a wonderful picture right there in front of a big pink rose bush, by the way. So if you wanna know how to camouflage, get behind the rose bushes. <laughs> That'll do it, it's right there. Great, great job, Miss Jamie. Our next picture here. Hey, y'all know who this guy is? That's Tony Eckler. Do you know Tony? <laughs> Tony went to uh, Cumberland Lake. Uh, up there in Kentucky and uh, one of the first fish he caught was this big brown fish and he said Hugh you would not believe he said I had 24 pounds by 9 o'clock and I'm like really and he was he was culling that size <laughs> so, so great great job Tony Eckler fantastic fisherman our next picture here oh my gosh here's the outlaw of Kentucky Lake Sam Lashley I tell you what Sam does such a good job over there on Kentucky Lake he has his own guide service uh, in in a two-fold deal he will guide you for fishing or he will guide you to let, let you learn how to use your electronics by the way uh, but Sam is really a good stick on Kentucky Lake he is really really hard to beat our next picture here Got to show, this is Miss Marsha Goodall from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Her number two turkey weighed 24 pounds. She did not give me the spur length, but it had 11 and a quarter inch beard. But uh, that's an awesome bird by anybody's standards. Yeah, it's a decent bird. Now, Brandon, we don't have much longer on... on uh, Time's running low. Time's running low. But, but now's when you catch those big ones slipping around. That's right. They, them older birds. They're lonely and they're looking for love in all yeah. the wrong places. <laughs> Just keep that calling to a minimum. That, and, and, and let's try, yeah, we need to do that, don't we? Yeah. Hey, you can send your pictures to us here. Southern Woods and Waters, 474 James Robertson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219. Or email them to me at Hugh at SouthernWoodsandWaters.com. Or better yet, go to our Facebook page and we'll get them on here. Tell us a little story about it. We'd like to share some, some stories about some of these <laughs> nice fish and nice turkeys so uh, share with us and we'll put them on the show just really really quick I have to give a big shout out uh, to the Stones River Ducks Unlimited uh, went there Saturday uh, with, with some, a lot of my friends and they had a crawfish boil going on let me tell you something those guys did it right now I'm telling you they did, it was a first-class job and I wanted to give a big shout out to Scott Warwick and, and all that crew at the Stones River chapter. Man, you couldn't have asked for any more uh, hospitality. The food was fantastic. Uh, everybody was doing their job and they raised quite a bit of money for That's Ducks awesome. Unlimited. So uh, good, good job going out to Stones River. So I uh, want to give them a big shout out about that. All right, mm -hmm. we have with us tonight, I have uh, uh, Hunter Carmichael and Jacob Jewell, and they are representing the Max Size Bass Tournament. It's gonna to be held this Saturday. Uh, Fate Sanders Marina on Percy Priest Lake, and registration's gonna start at what time? Uh, we're gonna get there about 4.30 and start setting up, you know, sometime around five o'clock, and blast okay. off at seven. About, and it goes from seven to? Seven to three. Seven to uh, three. Weigh-in will start at 2.30. Okay. And uh, gotta be, you know, chipping the bucket by by, By three o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Chris Stites run the way in. He does a lot of tournaments around here. He's always been a good 
good one, you know. To well, he's got he, have, he's have a good friend of mine. He's got a mouth for it. He can holler it out. I got him a microphone. So oh Lord, <laughs> there went the neighborhood. <laughs> it's even I, own, I own an audio company, so he's got. <laughs> he's got you it might made. not after this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> he's got it made. Because you can, you can be fight centers and we can hear it at the dam. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. He'll be yelling, Chris, turn it down. I'll tell you, Chris is something else. He's a great, great guy, yeah. and he's a good fisherman there. Great oh, fisherman. He's a good I've fisherman. I've learned a lot from that fellow. And and does it, but you know, there's so many good fishermen in Middle Tennessee. There are. But I want Some everybody real. to realize it's not just about how to win the tournament. Yeah. Yep. They got to kind of put that on the back burner. We're, it, we're not concerned. I, you know, I'm not going to win the tournament. Yep. I, I don't think so. But uh, yeah. But it's, it's, the, the reason I'm going is for Little Mac. That's right. That's the reason I'm going. So when you put it in perspective, ladies and gentlemen, it, it comes out better. Yeah. So uh, I'm just trying to help out some, some other kids or some pastors or something in a way that, that uh, only I can do it with, uh, with being a part of it. Yep. yep. So that makes me go. Yeah. And so it should make everybody go. Absolutely. And if you win, Absolutely. hey, that's just icing on the cake. That's right. <laughs> I mean, and, and, you know, it's it's a good time. We had about 300 people at the weigh-in last year. Yes. It was a good time. It you was know, hot. And, 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 it yeah. was hot, wasn't it? Yeah. It was hot. But Sweating under that tent. We, but let me tell you something else. We have uh, Now that you're going to have this year, you're going to have all the stuff for kids to do. Yeah. It's going to be a whole different, small festival style way and you know we're going to have the bouncy castles the you know the blow up obstacle courses uh they're supposed to do i think snow cones and cotton candy and some really good friends of ours on a company that does this stuff and and they stepped up and said hey we want to help and boy this is going to be something different you know and now you know Guys don't have to leave the house going, well, I'm going fishing again now. He's like, come on, the whole family. Yeah, the whole goes. family. Yep. Or, mm -hmm. hey, if you don't want to get up at 3.30 or 4 yeah. o'clock, meet me there meet about me 10. There. Yep, yep. <laughs> you know, so or, we're doing uh, yeah. starting about 1 o'clock, and it'll okay. go until, um, I'm guessing, 5, but, you know, however long the weigh-in takes. Um, of course, we got more raffles and silent auctions than you can stick a stick at. Um, That's what I heard is a bunch of giveaways. Oh, my gosh, we're giving away a kayak We're uh, from Lifetime Products. Um, we're giving away uh, so many bait companies have stepped yeah. up you know and, yeah. and um and it's not just that um brandy um owns a store in the cool springs mall and and she reached out to her product line people and they have donated tons of stuff for women and kids so we've got everything i mean this is not just for fishermen this is for the whole family Awesome. And, and of course, there's a lot of fishing stuff too, you know. Yeah, and I just yeah. went down and picked up a big old box from uh, Randy down at Murphy's Bar Outdoors. No. Boy, he hooked us up. So Have you opened it yet? He, he showed me what I was oh, okay. in there. Okay. Because usually he puts one of those boing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be that box he didn't open. <laughs> that might be what. Yeah, Randy's got bad habit of doing something like that. He's but, scared you know, the bejesus I mean, out of you. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we just had so many people step up on this thing and. You know, couldn't do it without them. No, no, There's no. No way. No way. Uh, talked to several uh, guys that probably haven't registered, but yep. they're all wanting to go. Yep. Um, and and I think it's what it's all about. It's a, it's almost scary to the point that if you fish and if you fish more than once or twice, you're part of a family. You're right, yes, sir. I got to tell you. You're right. I mean, if there's not a time I can't go to fight Sanders or go anywhere on Percy Price that people boats will pass you and there's half a dozen to a dozen of them waving at, I know you, and then you know, screaming down the you know, down the lake, and I know you, yeah. you know, I see where you're catching them, they, but it's fun. It's That's fun. what's fun. It's I, like I, neighbors. I took a, a fella. You probably heard of the country artist Colt Ford you know I, yes. work in, I work in the music business and I took his guitar player fishing uh, last week and he was just blown away that everywhere we stopped on the lake I'd be oh there's so and so over there and wave it he's like you know everybody out here on the water I'm like we pretty much do, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much do. it's a good time you we know? do know yeah. everybody and that's a good thing because if something ever happens I can, I can pull out a phone and I can, I can reach a half a dozen you know yeah. that, that are yeah. on the lake you know? come pick me up, <laughs> come pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> have you got any jumper cables <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's happened. A, it happens oh, yeah. all the time. Sure. Hey, we got to go right now and do our product of the week. So uh, this week's product of the week is being sponsored by Caney Fork Outdoors. 
They're located in Donaldson Shopping Plaza and also right there on the Caney Fort River. If you'll get off at the Edgar Evans exit off I-40 and uh, they're down there by the Caney Fort, they are gearing up for Waterpalooza. We're, that is huge, ladies and gentlemen. Waterpalooza is coming up. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Brandon, tell us what we got over here, man. I heard a diver down. Yeah, well, this is this is Hunter Up. Hunter Up? And yeah, what, what we got here. And I, th yeah, I think this is going to be real useful with, with public Ooh, land hunting and tent. things like that. Um, but what 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 we got is... Hunter over here. He's holding yeah, yeah, there <laughs> you go. I got my shirt. It's a band that you put up to, to signify that there's a hunter in the area. I'm going to show that. This, yeah. this is awesome, this ladies and gentlemen. Pro. This thing is Velcro, yeah. but it's reflective orange. <laughs> and it has a reflective ribbon. It's got the hunter down on here or hunter ups i'm sorry and it goes around your tree and if you hunt lbl and i love to hunt lbl it's my favorite but I, place. how many times <laughs> you ever been in there though and you get you do all your scouting you get yeah. your tree and during your 30 minutes right before daylight here it comes, comes some comes dude in there with a flashlight and, yep. and, and you're like uh dude yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm up here great yeah. idea, man. Great it, it's a great idea it also let me tell you something it's also got if you're on a trail going in to your stand and, you, and say you're on a deer lease and you don't want anybody else in there, there's you some stuff right there. You mark your trail, go across your trail and say, Hunter up. Hey, yeah, don't need to come any further. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's good for sight. This could keep I mean. your friends friendly. It could. It could, <laughs> yeah, keep, right. it could keep altercations at a low It'll keep level. low altercations down. I mean, it's good for safety, too. I mean, Great safety for rate, safety. You get in there and, and on some of these gun quota hunts and things like that, I mean, it's a great idea for I was telling for Helen, to know also, you, you know what else it does? If this is on a tree and you're not back at camp, yeah. This could easily be found. That's right. You're right. I mean, that's, that's a, a good point. From a long distance, yeah. and people yeah. could find you a whole lot faster, especially those emergency guys yes, looking for you. Yes, yeah. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> makes it easy. So it's a great, great deal. Keep checking with us. We're going to tell you where this stuff is going to be available uh, very, very shortly. We just got it in our hands. Think it's a fantastic idea. We're willing to help people with it. So keep in touch with us on Facebook and keep watching the show. We're going to let you know where the stuff's going to be available. Hey, we got to take another quick break. When we come back, we're going to open up the phone lines here at 737-7767. Answer any question you might have. Hopefully it's about the little max size tournament. Be right back with more Southern Woods and Waters. <laughs> 